Do you love Google Maps? It's hard to imagine life without it. But what about on your Surface or Windows 10 device? Wouldn't it be nice to have Google Maps as an app right there? Sure, there's a pretty cool Windows 10 Maps app that you can draw on. We've done another video about that. The maps are really good there and you can actually download them for offline use, but it's still not Google Maps. In this video, I'll show you how to install the Google Maps app on your Surface or Windows 10 device. I'll use my Surface Pro X with its inbuilt GPS and 4G to demonstrate since it can accurately locate me, but you can use the Google Maps app happily on any device without GPS. It just won't always know exactly where you are. We recently shared some videos on PWAs or progressive web apps, and we'll link to those below. To summarize, a PWA is a real app that you can install through Google Chrome or the new Microsoft Edge. Google Maps is unfortunately not available in the Microsoft Store, so you'll have to look it up in your web browser first. So navigate to maps.google.com in an open web browser tab, and you might notice that up in the address bar, there's an install app notification. Click on it to install Google Maps as a standalone app. Google Maps will now open up in a new window without the web browser overlay. It'll also appear on your start menu, so you can pin it as a tile there, or you can pin it directly to your taskbar as an icon. At the moment, the Google Maps PWA looks and behaves just like the website does, but in its own window, which does give you a better viewing experience. Also, as we mentioned in the last video, thanks to improvements that Microsoft has made to the Chromium project, that's the thing that sits behind Google Chrome and the Microsoft Edge web browsers, PWAs like Google Maps now can be automatically restored when you reboot your computer so you don't have to reopen them every time. Unfortunately, the Google Maps PWA touch experience hasn't been perfect for me. Hopefully Google do find the time to improve the touch experience like they have recently with YouTube. You can zoom and pan quite well with touch. Initially, I couldn't mark a location with touch, but I discovered that if I tapped on the location button first, it does seem to then start working so that I could pin a location using touch. There's then a pop-up and you can go and find directions from there. You can't right click with touch, but you can right click with your pen. If you hold the right click button on the side of your Surface Pen and tap on the screen, it does bring up the location menu. You can access and navigate Street View quite successfully with touch. So most things work pretty well with touch and everything works as expected with mouse and keyboard. At the moment, I can't find a way to download offline maps with the PWA, at least not yet. It would be possible to do with a PWA, so here's hoping that Google add that feature at some point. If you do need offline access to Maps, use the Windows Maps app instead, and we'll leave that link to that video about the Maps app below. Back in November last year, we brought you a video showing you how to install any website as an app for your Surface or Windows 10 device. And in that video, we discuss PWAs, which are real apps that you simply install from your web browser. If you're interested to explore more PWAs that you can download on your Surface or Windows 10 device directly, we'll leave a link to that video below in the description. Other Google apps that you can install now include Google News, Photos, Messages, Stadia, and YouTube. Check them out and let us know what PWAs you're using in the comments below. And if you wanna learn more about how to make the most of your Surface or Windows 10 device, then hit subscribe and tap that bell. We'll bring you a new tip like this one next week.